The Horse of the Year show is back on in Hawke's Bay after being cancelled for three years due to COVID and then Cyclone Gabrielle. The six-day event is the largest of its kind in Australasia and is bringing a much-needed financial boost to the region. Alexa Cook is there. The pinnacle of the equestrian calendar. With 15 different disciplines from show jumping to dressage and mounted games where both riders and horses need to be incredibly fast and incredibly accurate. I love the adrenaline. Why do you do the sport? The fun and the excitement of it and the group that always around yeah. and everything. Yeah. All the people you get yeah. to meet and all the things you get to do and the places yeah. you get to go especially. The six-day event last ran in 2020, but with COVID restrictions and a cyclone, it's been on hold until now. It's been so hard to get here, but now we're here. It's just look at the weather, look at the people. I'm really excited about it all. Why should non-horsey people care about a sport like this? I think it's a very healthy sport for children. Like you see that children that ride ponies are always happy and well-adjusted kids. I think it's a great sport uh, for kids all around. It gives them a sense of purpose. It's an unusual sport where different ages and genders are often competing against each other. We've got green finishing. One of the youngest in the ring is 10-year-old Zara Peacock on board her mate, Mickey. I like being around ponies and I like the feeling. A sentiment shared by many. There are 1,400 horses competing in this year's Horse of the Year show, including this guy, Pickles. And there's over 1,000 riders from all over the country and even as far as Australia. They're all vying for the top titles, the prize money and the bragging rights. Actually making it, though, isn't easy. What's the toughest part of this sport? It's so physically tolling, like most athletes wouldn't train as hard as we do. Probably the ups and downs. Horses are horses are animals and you know, get injuries and disappointment. But it's highs like this that make it all worth it. Well, Alexa joins us now. I have to say, great riding there, Alexa. Well done. Uh, tell us what are the big events a bit there rusty. to watch? <laughs> they did great. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is a jam packed four days ahead on the agenda. The largest classes are actually this Sunday. There's the Olympic Cup for the prestigious uh, Horse of the Year title. And then there's also an eventing trophy. That's for Sir Mark Todd, the Olympian. That is a trophy for Eventer of the Year. There's also a classic Trans-Tasman battle. That's the Oceania Challenge. There are a heap of Aussies over here all trying to prove their worth to make it into their own Olympic team. So, look, the gates are open. They're open to everyone. I know this sport might not seem like it is for everyone, but it is. It's entertaining. It's always exciting to watch. So come on down to the Hastings Showgrounds. A little bit jealous I'm not there. Alexa, thanks so much. <laughs>